Our proud mom and dad that's here. <clears throat> you know, I remember uh, PS140 in Queens uh, the first year that uh, mom moved us from uh, Brooklyn uh, to Queens. And I remember walking in the, the yard and uh, mommy dropping us off. All my brothers and sisters was running and, and playing. Uh, and I was just holding on to her skirt holding on to a skirt, and I was like, you know, mommy, don't leave me. I don't know these people. <laughs> and I remember, uh, like, Anna, Angelia, who I just met, you know, trying to separate. I remember just starting to cry. And a, one of the third grade young girls came over and held my hand, and she said, uh, you know, it's going to be uh, all right. Uh, I went from not wanting to go to school to running to school every day, you know, <laughs> It was just the energy, and that's the energy we saw to, today. And, you know, you can't fake the authentic, the authentic uh, belief in young people and children uh, like our borough president and our councilwoman that's here. And, you know, just the chancellor, you know, you, you, you see him in a, on, on a professional lens, uh, but just personally, you know, hours and hours of, of talking, and I'm sure just about every elected in this city We'll talk about the relationship they have with this chancellor and his commitment and dedication to children. Uh, what he's doing this year with, with uh, changing the game on reading, uh, a bold, bold initiative, unafraid uh, to say we need to target and forecast and move in a new direction. Uh, when he sat down and broke it down uh, with me and hearing our partners, the UFT president, President uh, Mogru, uh, say, Eric, this is what we've been talking about over and over again. And then pushing against uh, the fear of the unknown, you know, first city of this size uh, to do breathing exercises uh, for our children. Uh, and, you know, people say, you know, what is this? What's the connection of breathing in a uh, school? You know, just go do the research. You know, what teaching young people self-care early in life to deal with the stresses that they are going to face. It's more than just being academically smart. We want our children to be emotionally intelligent. We want them to interact with each other, to deal with the challenges that they are facing. Everything from school, potential school bus issues, uh, to the in surge of new arrivals of young people that want to educate, be educated, that are our asylum seekers, uh, to dealing with the challenges of bu budget cuts. All of these things we have to still produce a product that, are, that will allow our children to be ready uh, for uh, the future. And that's what this is, school year is about. And that's what this chancellor and his amazing team is going to do, uh, push forward. From day one, uh, when we, we came into office, the uncertainty of schools being open or closed, the chancellor said the safest place for our children is in a school building, partnering with uh, Michael and the UFT team, uh, on those phone calls late at night, making sure we did the proper testing, making sure we did this, the safe environment, and then where we are now, the beginning of a new school year. So much comes with it. You know, ask a group of students uh, just a little while ago, uh, Chancellor, mm -hmm. you know, what are you looking forward to? Uh, new friends. Yeah. Meeting new friends. They want to meet new friends. They want to experience reading. They want to experience math. Uh, they want to experience all these things that we've laid out for them. A lot of preparation. Uh, this school day j did not just happen on its own. Uh, the team has been preparing over and over again for the uncertainties of life that would come up, but it would not get in the way of our mission of educating our children and allowing them to know the classroom experience is not only what happens in the school building, but the full city is a classroom that's live and well, our uh, high school students uh, learning internships and learning how to uh, go into the work environment in a real way, uh, our younger students uh, coming in, cycling out of pre-K uh, to come into the full K-12 through experience, reshaping our cafeterias to allow more socializing inside the, the cafeterias, just being unafraid to chart a new course being unafraid to do what's best for our children. And so I'm excited about the school year. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be departing here to go over to Rikers Island uh, because not only is this the first day of school here in the New York City public schools, 
It's also the first day of school for those children who went on the wrong path. And they need to know that their mayor is welcoming children here in this school, and I'm going to welcome them in school also. These are all our children. These are all our children. And we cannot ignore any one of our, of our children. And, and that's what this chancellor believes. And I just tell you, brother, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you for being the chancellor and being my brother, man. You, you are solid, solid, solid leader for the New York City Public Schools. We're so blessed to have you. 